Mbambe. Maurice Musegwa losing money as the clock ticks. His company used to ferry oil between South Africa and neighboring countries. The trucker was arrested during this police operation two years ago. Police say they were following a suspected hijacked truck carrying steel. The trail ended at this warehouse in Leondale. And this is the steels which led the police to come in this uh, uh, premises after the truck was hijacked from Betal. And uh, they followed the information up. But Mosegwa says they got it all wrong. The complex where they enter, we were like five people. It wasn't uh, owned by me. I was actually a tenant as others. So as they enter in, they, are, they just saw my trucks and um, they were told this is the owner. Then they assume everything in that complex was mine. Police also claimed that this fuel tanker belonging to Musegwa had been hijacked by a syndicate stealing oil. They had to bring special people from VIS to check that petrol tanker and all my other trucks. And unfortunately, they find out that... Uh, Nothing was uh, stolen. The case was later withdrawn in court due to a lack of evidence. Maurice Musekwa now wants redress for the wrongful arrest. His business, the hardest hit. Most guys, they terminated my contract um, and I had to start over. So now my problem is whoever gave me the work will check my profile. And once they see that I'm involved in those things according to TV, then they immediately terminate my contract and it's really affecting. As you can see, all my trucks, all of these are standing. Police insist they acted within the confines of the law. From our side, we know that there was nothing wrong we did. We were doing our job and uh, we arrested the people who were found in the vicinity as we know that when we found you in the area where they are stolen property, uh, if you don't prove that you have that stolen property in the, in the premises legally. To us, it's a criminal offense. Police say Musegwa is well within his rights to pursue legal action. The Institute for Security Studies says in the past financial year, police paid out more than 290 million rand in civil claims. Mangabam Kunu, SAPC News, Johannesburg.